The Stars and Stripes are once again flying above the U.S. Embassy in Cuba. Today's flag-raising ceremony marks a milestone in the once chilly relations between the two neighbors, but tension still remains. And with that, the U.S. Embassy in Cuba is officially reopened. Secretary of State John Kerry was on hand to make it official. This is truly a memorable occasion. A day for pushing aside old barriers and exploring new possibilities. He's the first Secretary of State to visit Cuba since 1945. The visit marks the end of a long period of distrust between neighbors separated by just 90 miles. However, Kerry says, don't expect changes overnight. It would be equally unrealistic to expect normalizing relations to have, in a short term, a transformational impact. After all, Cuba's future is for Cubans to shape. The three Marines who lowered the U.S. flag down at the embassy in 1961 were also on hand to watch it be raised once again. We knew it was closing up, but we had no idea as to all the particulars behind it, you know. As far as I was concerned, it was a sad day. Not on the guest list, dissidents in Havana. The government says there was limited room at the ceremony, but Kerry would meet with them later in the day. This all comes after President Obama began thawing the chilly relations between the two nations, taking Cuba off the official state sponsors of terror list, relaxing travel restrictions, and resuming diplomatic relations. Meanwhile, critics of President Obama's Cuba policy are sounding off. He has ensured the regime will, ex will receive international legitimacy and a substantial economic boost to benefit its repression of the Cuban people. The debate will no doubt continue in Washington and across the U.S. Frank Calzone is the executive director of a Center for a Free Cuba. Frank, you're in Miami right now, a city full of people who's escaped Cuba's Castro regime. How do they feel about the embassy's opening? Well, there are all kinds of uh, opinions, but I would argue that the majority of the uh, Cubans, uh, exiles, Cuban Americans here, are very uh, saddened by uh, what have, has happened. Uh, the, the radio here has been full of stories of uh, dissidents calling from Cuba, saying that for the last two or three days, the political police has visited them at home to threaten them and to tell them that they must stay inside doors until uh, Mr. Curry leaves the island. And so, Frank, sh why should we be celebrating renewed diplomatic relations? I've never seen uh, such a celebration before. This is all uh, the result, I, uh, I think, of a misguided uh, approach by the president. Raul Castro has a lot to celebrate. He believes that the United States now has turned its back on the uh, Democratic opposition. And uh, Secretary Kerry believes that this is good for the legacy of the president. But in none of these discussions, the Cuban people appears as a major uh, factor. You, speaking of John Kerry, you mentioned him. He thanked Pope Francis and the Vatican's role today in what he calls the new chapter of relations. Obviously, President Obama has made reference to Pope Francis before. When you hear the administration talk about that, what is your response? Well, I, I uh, heard from the Vatican a few days ago and the, the Pope is quoted as uh, saying that he simply tried to, to help. He doesn't appear to want to be, take a lot of credit for this. Um, the, the administration is wrong when it says that this is a new policy. What President Obama has initiated is a return to the old policy of the 1950s when the American government embraced dictators all over the world, uh, especially in Latin America. The, uh, there's nothing wrong with the U.S. government talking to the Cuban government, but talking and making concessions without getting anything in return is a different thing. Well, we know a lot of people share your concern, Frank, about uh, giving in to certain concessions. Frank Calzone for the Center for a Free Cuba, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you. Please pray for the Cuban people. Will do. Thanks so much.